Hello again and welcome to the Real Ale Guide. Another day, another beer. Today's beer is again, I've done another one from Shepherd Neem, it was um, Spitfire. This is Spitfire's Bishop's Finger. 1698. It's the oldest known brewery in Britain. Bishop's Finger. Um, I'm not sure if this has been brewed since then. But um, some of the beers have. Um, it says to see it is a chestnut brown. To smell, roast, toffee and berries. Very similar to the Spitfire in that um, to smell it was toffee and hops. This one's toffee and berries. To taste it, it's rich, fruity and bitter. Um, right. I've said it before, but if it's the first video you watched on the, um, the Real Ale Guide, the reason we're doing this Real Ale um, campaign, really, is to show and... Um, how can I put this into words? To show that Real Ale is... Well, it's making a big comeback. There's more and more microbreweries opening Britain, Europe, America, around the world. They're opening all the time. They're becoming very, very popular. So um, if you're new to Real Ale, you want to try out a Real Ale, um, watch some of the videos, have a look on the internet. There's plenty of, plenty of sites on there to look at, um, to get into. Another reason is that um, lager sales are, are, are edging down. Um, I think people... We've had we the, the lager phenomenon really in this country in Britain really hit off in the nineteen seventies. Before that, there was a lot of people drinking real ale, um, or we call them bitters back then. But they come back; they kind of transformed themselves in, in, into um, the name ales. Um, bitters are still big, but a lot of them call them ales now. Um, as I was saying, with the lagers, they they really come off heavy in the 19, in the nineteen seventies. A lot of um, foreign foreign companies came over, um, Carlsbergs, your Heineken's came over, really took the place by storm. Ale sales went, went flying down, lager sales went up through the roof. But gladly, gladly, ale is making a significant comeback. Um, okay. Bishop's Finger, Shepherd Neems Brewery. Let's get it open. Bit of smoke. Bit of smoke. I know certain people like a bit of smoke. <laughs> Today's glass, just to show you the the looks and the smells. Let's have a wash it round. Certainly smells fruity. Definitely. With the roast. Quite different to the Spitfire. It's not just the, the same, just a little altered. It is it is definitely a, a totally different beer. It's more, it's, it is bitter, it, it's, it's, more, it's bitterer than the Spitfire. Let's pour it out. Check the head on this beer. Pour it out quite quickly. Just to see what we got. If you, if you did that with a lag, it'd be all over the place. <laughs> Beautiful head. Nice smelling. The last one, the Spitfire from Shepherd Neem, it was very, very lively. There was a lot of carbonation going. This seems, it's a lot calmer. It's a lot calmer. It's more, it's more what you would expect from from an ale. It's it's darker as well. It is it is darker than the Spitfire. Um, Bishop's finger. I'll just tell you a little bit about the brewery. Um, they do merchandise, they do clothing and, and foods, I'm sure. They, all, they also do wines and brandies, Shepherd Neem. 
Um, the bottled ales, they include Spitfire, Bishop's Finger, Whistable Bay, Master Brew and Early Bird. Early Bird, as I've said before in the Spitfire review, is a seasonal ale. It's, it's out spring, summertime, that type of time. Um, it's unusual for a, um, a real ale company to produce lagers. They normally specialise in their real ales, but they do make... Um, a couple of lagers, one being Holston Export, they do a Hurleyman's and the Orangi Boom. Um, very nice. Also, looking at my notes, another taste. Also, they do a bottle condition ale. There's not many bottle condition ales out there in the, 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 the mainstream. If you wanted to go to a microbrewery, then sure, you'll find that you'll definitely find a bottle conditioned ale. But if you went to a supermarket and um, your local store, they're harder to find. Um, basically, bottle conditioned ales are still fermenting. There's still um, the sediment in the bottle, bottom of the bottle. Um, they're still fermenting. They're still brewing. They say, say for argument's sake, they're 1698 by Shepherd name. Um, 6.5% volume on the alcohol, on the pint bottle. It's still brewing. It's still actively brewing. It's, it's an active beer. Um, it could be 7, 8, maybe even 9% in the volume by the time you open it, if it's, it's been on the shelf for a couple of months. So that's another one worth trying, is the 1698 Bottle Conditioned Ale from Shepherd Neem. Um, if you want to get in contact with Shepherd Neem to order any of their fantastic ales, beers, lagers, food, wine, brandies, then you can get in touch with them telephone wise on 01795 532206. They've got a website which is www.shepherdneembrewery, sorry, www.shepherdneem.co.uk. Apologise for that. Um, oldest known beer company in Britain. 1698, fantastic. I'm just going to turn this over because I've got some notes on the back. Um, I wrote this down off the internet, off this site, which says the brewing process hasn't changed in Britain since hops were first added to the brew about 600 years ago. Can you imagine that? 600 years without real, without any change to flavour, to none of these chemicals get involved with, with, with real ales. It's all hops and barley and all these different things. Um, malt, yeast, just natural ingredients. Um, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm going to give this brew and have another taste. Very nice, very nice, crisp aftertaste. Um, you can taste the coffee there, and it's it's it's, it's in between. It, it's you can. There's a few things going on in my mouth. Um, first of all, coffee. Then there's the. It, it's slightly fruity as well. Taste the berries. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna give this nine. I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten for this shepherd name, Bishop's Finger. This one. Um, okay, thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. I'll be doing more videos in the future. If you're a micro brewer and you would like me to do a review of a beer on the internet, email me at www. Say it again, I do apologise. Sorry, it's Real Ale Guide at googlemail.com. That's Real Ale Guide at googlemail.com if you want me to do a, a, a beer review for you. Um, thank you very much for watching The Real Ale Guide. See you soon. Goodbye.